were able to interview small business owners and ask them if they could request anything from the Obama administration, what would that be and why? Let's check it out. I would ask specifically, what are you doing to assist small businesses in letting go of this credit crunch that the banks are holding on to that will allow us to borrow more money to continue moving forward. The biggest challenge for any small business is staying afloat and keeping the doors open through this recession. And there's been so much focus on a lot of other issues, the small business person has been left out in the code. I would ask him for um, to lower medical insurance. At one time, my plan was 1600 a month and my medication is over 400. Have some way of acquiring a small business loan without a huge amount of red tape and making you feel comfortable through the process and not feeling that uh, you'll never get it. If I had 10 minutes to spend with Obama, I would spend the entire time trying to convince him to come out here and go skydiving because that would be awesome. To focus as much attention as possible on fuel. Fuel prices are something that create a huge overhead for us because we're flying airplanes all day long. The lower the price of fuel, the lower my overhead and the higher my profits. So if I could talk to Obama about anything, it would be the fuel crisis. I just I guess I just need more customers, more people that are able to um, afford to send their kids to extracurricular activities. I'm Ken Yancey, CEO at SCORE. SCORE is an organization of volunteers, mostly retired businessmen and women, who help small business owners and those that would like to start. In our role helping small business, we see hundreds of thousands of existing and potential business owners each year. And clearly in these difficult economic times, they're facing a number of challenges. We get a number of questions related to, how do I find stimulus dollars? Are grants available for me? I really need customers. How can you help me with my marketing or my segmentation? And we have the opportunity to provide a variety of different services for those small businesses. For those that think that they might be able to benefit from the stimulus dollars, most of those dollars have gone to the state and local level and states and localities are contracting with small business owners to deliver around specific projects. If you're interested in that, I highly recommend that you go to your local community's website, your state website, and look for contracting opportunities. If you're interested in doing business with the federal government, then there are a few things that you'll need to accomplish. A great site to go to to learn about that is business.gov. Many, many resources there, including information on how to get your very important DUNS number. Also, what you need to do to be certified, and many of the certifications that are available for small businesses are actually self-certification. So an investment of your time, maybe an hour or so, could result in a competitive advantage for you and for your business. The SBA 7A program today is a great opportunity for borrowers that qualify. The amounts have been increased, the fees have been waived, the, the guarantee now at 90%. So if you do qualify, a really good time to consider that. The SBA also has Community Express or Express Loans. Again, another very good offer, opportunity for qualifying small businesses. SCORE.org, what a great place to go to get information, to get counseling and support as you work to grow or start your small business. Where not only can you interact with SCORE volunteers or others, but interact with your peers and get really first-hand information on how to improve your business, how to grow your client base, how to find uh, capital or loans to help you expand. One thing I know for sure is that our country is in a time of need. I'm Summer Morenz with DNB Digital TV and I'll see you next time right here.